Hi, Dan at FontSpring here, talking about the new font maturator by FontSpring. It's in beta right now. Recently, we've given it a huge facelift and wanted to uh, give you a quick tutorial video on how to use it and what it does. If you're not familiar with a font maturator, it takes an image that has typography in it, pulls the typography out, and determines what the letters are and matches it to fonts in our library. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that with our FontSpring logo. This logo was made with the Gesta font and uh, I dragged it right onto the form. Right now it's working on uh, separating the glyphs and the, or the letters from the background and as you can see I didn't even have to do anything. It just magically did everything for me and number one result is Gesta. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you, uh, if I click on manually adjust, you can, uh, you can tweak some things here. And uh, it wasn't able to uh, detect these letters correctly, and it included some shapes that weren't letters. So you can change those things on the fly. Um, also, uh, if, if we did have inaccurate results, we actually modified the G uh, for our own liking in our logo. And, um, you know, that, that can skew the results, obviously. Uh, it's going to match pixel for pixel, so if, if, uh, if you don't pull the letters out correctly, if you're going to want to exclude those from the, from the search, you can do that just by uh, clearing the form. So if I take the, the letter P out of here, uh, it's not going to include it. Maybe, uh, maybe it was on a background and it had some, some extra stuff in there. Uh, an example of that would be this image, uh, a lot of busyness. It's going to have a hard time figuring out what our... Uh, letters and what's the background. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't think it'll even work. It's going to take a good long second here. Uh, it's trying really, really hard, and I'm pretty sure it's just going to tell us, sorry, dude, I just can't do it. Um, so in this case, you're going to want to help it along a little bit. Uh, edit your picture, change the contrast and the brightness, uh, especially in this case because the letters are white. Or you could edit it and make your letters white or black so they pop a little more. Um, I went ahead and edited one here, and just just all I had to do was change the brightness and contrast, and this should work just fine. Um, it's gonna, uh, it's still gonna have a little bit of trouble. Like most of your most of your images probably are gonna have some extra things going on. There were definitely uh, some extra shapes mixed in there. Uh, we can use the cropping tool here, and um, uh, it's gonna give you some some guidelines and show you what it thinks are are letters. So these little clouds, you know, maybe they're dingbats or something. Uh, click maturate. And now it's going to go ahead and try to guess what those letters are. It, it didn't guess them all, so um, I'm going to click manually adjust. Uh, sometimes the magic just isn't quite all there. And uh, as, as much information as you can give it, the, the better the results are going to be. So as a, this, this A is actually going to influence the, the results quite a bit. You can see uh, the correct font isn't even in the list here, I don't think. So if we give it a little extra data, um, and I'm not gonna include the I because the I is missing the dot, uh, so that's not gonna, that's actually gonna hurt us. And um, we can give it some custom text. This'll uh, help us in visualize uh, this graphic we're trying to match. So anything that you can do to help the process along the way. I'll give you some other examples of things like stencil fonts. Because stencil fonts are disconnected, the tool is going to think that each shape is its own glyph. It really has no idea what's going on. And this is a good opportunity to highlight uh, the advanced detection method. This method doesn't always work the best. It uses a totally different engine, but sometimes it actually works better. And in this case, it, it did work better. It really plowed through all those things and figured out what they were. If everything else fails, go ahead and give that a try. Let's see what we get here. And that was an exact match. Um, connected fonts. Just, uh, just separate those out. Uh, try to cut them apart and play around with it a little bit. Keep uploading it. Try cutting them apart in different spots. If the font isn't straight on a baseline, it's going to have a, a real difficult time because it's going to pull those letters and, and it's going to think that, that this L is, is actually shaped like that. 
we can still uh, we can still use this image. We just need to straighten it out a little bit. So uh, we'll rotate it. That's that looks good. Crop it down, and this should give us accurate results. In this case, it's a, a, a small caps font, um, and it did get the right font. But you may have to uh, go through and and put the correct letters in here because these are actually lowercase o's. So um, uh, in this in this case, they were so similar that it didn't matter. Fonts at a real small pixel size, uh, it's going to have trouble with that. You can see it didn't come anywhere close uh, because you know it, it's just the 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 data was too small. Uh, here's an example, a little higher, uh, 18 pixels. This should work. It might not be the first result, but the the correct one will probably be in there. Yeah, Tenso. Uh, blurry fonts like that aren't going to work. Outline fonts or anything that was modified, uh, like like we uh, talked about with the FontSpring logo, has a custom G. Anything that was modified is going to really change your, your results quite a bit. This background, this can mess it up a little bit. I'll demonstrate real quick for you. Uh, the, the letters are going to have some extra data uh, because it has a hard time, even though it got it 100%. Um, you can see all these little extra bumps. Uh, there, it's including the background in the letters a little bit there. So this gives you a little inside look on the maturator. Helps you uh, uh, see the nuts and bolts and how it works, so you can maximize it uh, for your use and and for your projects. And uh, look forward to some great improvements in the future. That's it for today, and happy font maturating.